So I'm basically gonna be sharing her first week of baby led weaning. That is the approach we're gonna be taking. Avocado. Avocado. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting vlog because we are gonna be feeding Aria salads for the first time. So I'm basically gonna be sharing her first week of baby led weaning. That is the approach we're gonna be taking. It's very different from what I did with Jace. So I'll kinda of sit down and share a little bit about what I'm changing with her and why. But before we talk about all that, I guess I should say welcome. If you're new here, thank you so much for being here. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you enjoy my content. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Can we? Can we do a thumbs up, Aria? If not for me, then for her. <laughs> um, so yeah, with Jace, I didn't even know what baby led weaning was, to be honest, when he was um, you know, around five months old, I think is when I started to feed him purees. I had never heard of baby led weaning. I guess I just wasn't up to date on all the new baby things. I think that I just really needed to relax. Okay, that was the main issue I had. As a first time mom, I had a really hard time switching from like, my house is now going to be messy most of the time. And so when we started salads, it was like so hard for me to just relax while he was eating and let him get super messy, let the floor get super messy, let him try different things, like just be a complete mess. I think that really turned meal time into a very stressful time for everyone, myself, Jace, and Richie and I put this pressure on him. And so just as he got older and older and started to actually have like true solid food, the whole picky eater thing escalated. And you know, if you follow any of those like Instagram accounts all about baby led weaning, you know that that is not the right approach at all. <laughs> I am determined to do things differently with Aria. Now I know every baby is different, so that may or may not happen, but I'm gonna just try my best to work on what I feel I need to work on based on my first experience with Jace. So Aria turned six months old this week. We just had her appointment the other day. Her pediatrician said everything looks fantastic with her. She is perfect and she can totally start solids. She wants me to try a variety of foods and wants me to introduce her to allergens. Today is Wednesday, um, so I'm kind of starting in the middle of the week, but I'll show you each day as I'm trying new foods. Um, with baby led weaning, you typically want to start with one food and feed them that same food for a couple of meals just to see if they have any strange reaction to it. You would know exactly what food it's coming from. Um, we'll probably be doing twice a day for her for now. I'm thinking right around this time, so around 11, and I'll put a screenshot of like the typical schedule we're following from Moms on Call with the meal times incorporated in there. After she woke up, I breastfed her, so I am still breastfeeding. Kind of let that di digest for about 30 minutes or so, and then I'm gonna give her a meal now. So hopefully this video will help some first time moms out there to have some knowledge that I didn't have when I was first trying this out. But also if you guys do have any tips for me, leave them in the comments because I'm new to this as well. So I would love any help from y'all that I can get so this little one stays full and happy. And as a reminder, you know, this is just to supplement breast milk. Breast milk is always the primary source of calories and food. This is purely experimental. It is not, like most of the food probably won't even get swallowed by her. Basically, it's all for fun and I need to stay chill. I need to stay chill. So we're gonna start today with sweet potato. I'm gonna be peeling it, cutting it with the crinkle cutter first and then steaming it. The purpose of this is to create Oh, ridges so that it's easier for baby to actually grip the food that they're picking up. So yeah, the general rule of thumb with baby led weaning is for foods to be sort of the size and shape of like a finger. So you want it to be long and skinny so that they can pick it up and grip it. You 
excited? Okay, these are looking perfect. They are easy to pierce with a fork and I don't want them to get too soft because I still want them to actually be like intact when she picks them up. <laughs> okay, they also say, I feel like I'm just throwing in random tips and advice I've heard like, you don't want to take the food for them and put it in their mouth. They have to be ready themselves to take it and put it in, them in their own mouth. You like it, mama? Mommy's finally letting you eat. I know you've been so interested in eating. I feel like I'm gonna get that question, like how did I know she was ready for eating? Every single time I'm holding her in my lap and I'm eating food, she's so interested in the food in front of me. She wants to grab it, she wants to put it in her mouth. Um, obviously, talk to the pediatrician. You should always get clearance from them. And also very important that they're able to sit up on their own unassisted like this to be able to eat. Is it good? Yeah. Something new, right? Other than milk. Oh, is it going to make it? <laughs> Almost. Okay, she's been eating for like 15 minutes. Um, she got a little bit bored at one point or just forgot what she was doing and stopped. So I was eating pieces too to sh like remind her what she's supposed to be doing, which kind of helped. But I think at this point she's ready to come out. She actually did pretty good. I feel like she got a good amount into her mouth and even swallowed some. There was a little bit of mess that got on the countertop, but honestly, mo most of it stayed up here. And I do think the plate on top of the tray really helped. Otherwise, it would have just been slipping and sliding all over the place. Yes, I'm going to wipe her down. And then I do have extra that I'll just give her tonight for dinner as well. So I would say that sweet potato was a success. I think she liked it. And tomorrow we will try a new food. So me cute little face. Okay, we just got back from a very stressful Costco trip and literally we only went there for one thing, a lasagna. And it turned into Jace throwing his Batman toy somewhere on the floor at some point, no idea where it went. So I went through Costco twice to try to find it and then I'm like, you know what Jace? Maybe today's the day you learn that you don't throw your toys on the floor because you'll never see them again. Today we are gonna give baby girl Banana, JC, come here. Do you want peanut butter and jelly? Oh, what? what no, not the scissors. I dropped the bat dad. You dropped the bat dad in Costco. Yep. So we say bye, bat dad. No more Batman. I have Spider Man. You have Spider Man, at least, right? But, no, I need to touch your mama. Please, I need to touch it. You don't want her to touch what? I need to touch her. I need to touch her. You want to try to do it? 
Yeah, I can't do it. Okay, go ahead, spread it on there. We're just gonna give Aria a banana. Yes, this is the ripest one I have. So we want it to be nice and ripe so it's soft. And then what I've been seeing lately this is, secret. Mm -hmm, is people just chopping it off like this so that it's upside down. So they have kind of a better grip with like this handle, if you will. And then just peeling off kind of like this. So I'm gonna try that, and then the rest of it, I'll probably just chop with my crinkle cutter. Yeah, she's eating a banana, look at her go. You go, girl. No, I'm gonna give the rest of this to Aria. I didn't know you, mama. Oh, I like tissue. Tissue. Say tissue, please. Okay, the rest I just did with a crinkle cutter, so it's got a little a little bit more grip. They're about this size, so we'll leave those there. But honestly, that whole banana handle trick seems to be working really well, so I get why people are doing that. Yes! Good job, mamacita. Here, just like this. Just like that. You can use two hands. Yeah. Good job, Ari. You say good job, Ari? Did I check, Ari? Good job. Okay, so we'll give you a little bit of water. So for, <laughs> for I use this little okay. um, easy peasy okay. weighted cup. Okay. Like it's weighted on the bottom. It's really small, such a good size for her tiny little hands. And I just put a little bit of water in here and then I show her how to grip the cup and tilt it up into her mouth like little by little. I don't keep it on the tray with her, obviously. She'd just knock it over. Put it on her face. Right here. Jace, you're quite distracting. Can you say that? Avocado. 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 Yeah, you almost saying it. <laughs> I can't. Good job. All right, today we're doing avocados. I cut them like this. We left a little bit of um, that peel on the back for, you know, gripping purposes. I wish that these were actually more ripe, um, but this is all I had on me today. So I'm just gonna keep a close eye on her, make sure that she's not choking, obviously. And you know, surprisingly, she has not been gagging a ton as she's been eating food. Like a lot of times they're coughing and gagging a bit, trying to get things in the right place, going down the right pipe, but I haven't seen her do any of that. So yeah, baby girl just dove right in. Yeah.
So today is actually the last day of her first full week with solids and we are going to end with peanut butters. So I just took some breast milk, warmed it up and then mixed it with peanut butter and it's actually pretty watery. And what I'm going to be doing is actually giving her one little spoon first, so just a tiny bit and then I'm going to check to see if she has any sort of reactions at all. Um, I'm not too worried about it. Jace doesn't have allergies, Richie and I don't, but her cousin does, Richie's sister does. So just in case there's any type of allergic reaction, I wanna do this carefully and make sure you guys talk to your own pediatrician about this. Don't go off of what I'm telling you. This is just based on my knowledge. So after I give her a little spoon, I will wait about 10 minutes, check her body, make sure that she's good, doesn't have any sort of reactions. I'm looking for like if she's coughing or wheezing or hives, itching, redness. And if she's good, then I will go ahead and continue to give her more. Let me just feed this one to you, okay? Okay. Whoa, I should have put a bib on you. <laughs> yeah, you like it? Okay, let's finish that up. <laughs> okay, I think that's all I'm gonna give her. I still have more left that I can give her tonight. She is a big old mess. I think she liked it, but I also think she was kind of confused because I was spooning, spoon feeding her for the first time. She kept trying to grab the spoon from me, so I ended up giving her her own little spoon to keep her distracted, and that worked really well. So, yikes. And then I'm still gonna be keeping an eye on her for like the next 30 minutes to really make sure she doesn't have any type of reactions. I'm sure she's gonna be fine. If not, obviously I'll let you guys know in this video. But otherwise, I'm gonna end it here because it's been a full week of filming. And overall, I think that she's done a really good job. She liked most of the foods that I gave her. She definitely tried everything, which makes me happy. Um, also, this has really, really affected her poop smell. Like her poop <laughs> is on a whole other level now that she's eating. Yeah, her poop is on a whole other level of stink at this point with all these solids and your tiny little... All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful. I think the next video is going to be a hardcore organizing, purging video because there's just a lot of things I want to do in the house in the next couple of weeks. Um, so, okay, love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.